In this video, we will generate a native SegWit one of two multi-signature address using a Trezor and a Ledger with Caravan. Caravan allows for any valid M of N multi-signature address scheme up to a seven key maximum. First, select the M of N scheme on the right side. I'll select one of two for the demo. Next, I'll select the type of address. A standard pay to script hash is checked by default, but Caravan gives you the ability to generate and sign a partially wrapped SegWit address or a native SegWit multi-signature address. I'll select a BEC32 address since it's the most modern and has the lowest fees. Next, we'll import our public keys. You can select a hardware wallet, such as a Trezor or Ledger. You can select Hermit, an open source wallet created by Unchained Capital, or importantly, you can paste a public key directly. This allows you to use Caravan in multiple locations and or with multiple people, as well as supports arbitrary wallets as long as they can export a public key. Today, we'll select Trezor. You can manually set a BIP32 path, which can be thought of as a file folder for where your public key lives, or use the multi-signature default, which is populated automatically. Import public key takes you through the Trezor bridge and asks you to enter your PIN and passphrase if you have one. Once your public key is exported to Caravan, you can move on to the next key in your quorum. For our second key, we will select Ledger. First, we will need to enter the PIN on our Ledger device and open the Bitcoin application. Then we will select Import Public Key to connect to our Ledger. Ledger devices assume you are only using a single device to protect your funds. Since Caravan uses multiple devices, your ledger may warn you that the BIP32 path of the key you are exporting is unusual. The BIP32 path Caravan uses by default is the multi-signature standard, and therefore it is safe to move past these warnings. Once you've confirmed, the public key has been exported and your address is produced. We can still change the address type and network if we'd like at this time. Different address types are different ways to represent the same multi-signature quorum and keys. Native SegWit is the current best practice because they are the most cost-efficient format for multi-sig. They are not as well supported as legacy P2SH addresses. Notice that when I switch to legacy address types, Caravan shows me the correct address but displays warnings about my now non-standard BIP32 paths. There's nothing wrong with the address, it's still secure, and it may be how you'll have to recover funds from a non-standard wallet. Similarly, you can also select partial SegWit, which are intermediate between legacy and native SegWit addresses. If you're a developer, Caravan's flexibility can help you learn about multi-sig and SegWit. Caravan is a stateless multi-signature address coordinator, meaning that unlike other wallets, all information produced by Caravan must be manually stored for later use. The final step is to download address details. This will store the address you just created, the BIP32 pads associated with your public keys, and the redeem or witness script, which contains information about the structure of the address you just produced. This information is required in order to spend from Caravan in the future, so ensure that it is stored securely.